Hi everyone, it's Sam from 20 Telly and today I'm going to show you how to create music on hold on FreePBX version 16. I'm using the official FreePBX distro with the most up-to-date system and stable modules as of the 21st of June 2023. So the first thing we need to do is log in by clicking on the FreePBX administration icon and filling in the administrator username and password. When you log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard page. We're going to go up to settings and down to music on hold. And as you can see here, the default music on hold for the system is already in the category list. If I click on the edit button, I'll just show you what it looks like already pre-populated. So down here in the file list, these are all of the files that will play. So if I click on the play button, This file will play first and when that's finished it will then go down to this one and it'll carry on down the list until it goes back up to the beginning and it will just constantly loop round. So if you're happy with default music on hold this is what will play but we're actually going to create our own music on hold today so if we go back up to settings and down to music on hold and we add a category I'm just going to put in here 20 telly music on hold and click submit. So we've now created our category and what we need to do now is upload our sound file to this. So if we click on the edit button, we're presented with a page of different options and things to fill in. If you're not too sure what each one means, there's a question mark you can hover over and it will give you a brief description. So the first thing is type. It's currently set to files, which is what we're going to use. If you do click on the drop down, you can see it's got files or custom application. Now, if you hover over the question mark, it says type of music on hold. If set to files, then this category will play the files listed below. If set to custom application, then this category will stream music from the set application. Like I said, we're going to use files, so we'll go down to the next one, which is enable random play. If you have more than one file uploaded, then you can enable random play and it will play the files randomly. If you leave it as no, then it will play them in alphabetical order. We'll leave this as no, we've only got one file to upload and we'll go down to upload recording. You can either browse your files or you can drop the file here, which is what I'm going to do now. So you can now see that our file has been uploaded and it's in the file list. And to check that you've selected the correct file, you can also press the play button here. And then you can see our format is WAV, which is selected up here. So nice and simple. That's everything on this page. All that's left to do now is click submit. It will then just come up with a warning to let you know that media conversions can take a long time. Is that OK? So just press the OK button. So you can see that our music on hold has now been created with a sound file uploaded. I'm now going to add another category and I'm going to add a ringing file. Now there is a ring file on the system, but it's not a typical UK ringing tone. So I'm going to add one that's more well recognized to us in the UK. So I'm going to add a category and I'm going to name this one ringing and then click submit and then go and click on the edit button. Everything stays the same again. So type is going to be files, enable random play. I'm going to put no, because again, it's just one file that we're uploading. So upload recording, I'm just going to drag and drop mine here. And you can see that the file has been uploaded. So if I press play, that's going to be my ringing file that's going to play instead. So again, nice and simple, click submit, press OK. So you can now see our ringing file in the list as well. I'm going to now add my music on hold to a queue and I'm going to add my ringing file to our ring group. So if I go up to applications, I'll do the ring group first. So if we press the edit button, you can see we've got here play music on hold and it says ring. So that's the default ringing file on the system 
I'm going to change this to ringing and click submit. And then if I go back up to applications, go down to queues, edit my queue, and I scroll down to my music on hold class. It's currently set to inherit. I'm going to change this to our 20 telly music on hold and then click submit. So if someone rings through to our ring group, they're going to hear that ringing file. And if someone calls through to the queue, it's then going to hear our 20 telly music on hold. And to apply all changes, press the apply config button in the top right hand corner. So that's everything we're going to cover today. If you found it useful, please like, comment, share. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.